welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dorsha. I have a hashtag fast fix for you. So I'm making an all time favorite, nothing too deep, pizza. Yay! Now, you can make this even faster than what I am um, prescribing to you um, by taking other shortcuts. So let's go over the ingredients. Look at this picture real quick. I got a lot going on because I'm making different types. I'm gonna make uh, one that's just veggies and then one with Italian sausage. So I use Pillsbury pizza um, dough and you can do it, uh, you can shape the pizza crust however you want it to, but I wanted uh, my husband and I to have separate for the veggies and then I made a complete one that's in the oven right now for the Italian sausage. So let's get right to it. So, I got some ragu. Um, you, there's all kinds of different ones that you can get in the, well, okay, let's go here first. I shaped this the way that I wanted it. And of course you can get this from the um, store already like this, already baked, whatever, but I was just trying something a little bit different. Or you can get the ones that are already in circles, whatever. The ragu. If you don't want to do that, you can take some um, tomato puree over there where tomato sauce and tomato paste is. It's called tomato puree. Um, add some various Italian herbs. This would be a nice uh, shortcut. Add that to the tomato puree. Um, maybe some onion powder and garlic powder and voila. There's, there's your pizza sauce. But we're not doing all that. We want a shortcut. So I put this on here. Now, most people just get mozzarella cheese. I like the Italian style. It has a mixture, mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan, Romano, Fatina, and Asiago. So put this on here. You can put it as gen genu generously or lightly as you would like. Now, you can put your vegetables on there uh, raw, but I decided not to, and I did my red pepper, um, red bell pepper and uh, red onion. Uh, I put them in, um, fried them, sauteed them in olive oil. And then I added some garlic seasoning. See this? And then I did likewise in another pan with my mushrooms, fresh mushrooms that is. Now with your mushrooms, if you know you're gonna make this, go ahead and rinse them and let them dry. You don't wanna fry the mushrooms wet. Let them dry and put them in the skillet with some olive oil. And I put some Montreal um, steak seasoning on those. I got some canned olives. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want to do. That's letting me know that my other crust is done. So, let me get that real quick. And I'm going to keep the oven on. Matter of fact, I'm going to increase it to 450. I had it on... Um, I had it on 425 to do the crust. Now, I'm gonna add spinach, but not fresh spinach. Get some frozen spinach, let it thaw, and then make sure you get the excess water from it because it, these leafy vegetables, they have tons of water. And once again, whatever vegetables you like. You may, some people don't like onions. One of my sons, he does not like onions at all. But uh, I love onions. But I don't particularly care for on pizza is pineapples. I don't want any type of fruit on my pizza unless it's a fruit pizza. Okay, so I have all of that. Now I'm gonna add some jalapenos. Woo, yes. Now we're talking. I love some jalapenos, okay. 
So this one's gonna be mine. <laughs> oh, you see that? There you go. Look at that. Now I am going to put a little more cheese on the top. Some people don't do that. I like to do that. And then I'm going to top it with this Italian herbs I told you about. It's very aromatic and just delicious. Okay? So, that's one of the veggie pizzas. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. to the, you know it's done when you can pick it up like that. <laughs> Let's get to the, the meat one, which is going to be even more simple, okay? Now, I um, fried the Italian sausage. I cooked it in a skillet. Make sure that it's um, uh, done or almost done since it will be in the oven for a little while. There you go. Have that a generous handful. Mmm, mmm, look at this. Baby burger. <laughs> yeah, as you see, I make all kind of little noises. I really never paid attention to it until my husband brought it to my table. And I also, my son's so let me show you the Italian sausage. Comes in a pack at the store, like you know how ground beef does. And I'm just gonna break it up and just put it on there. Now, of course, this could be any meat that you would want. Pepperoni, bacon, uh, chicken. You can do all of them, make your own little personal meat lovers which i absolutely love meat lovers but i had some italian sausage that i had frozen and i was like let me go ahead and use that now i can use the remainder remainder of this italian sausage for something else which i probably will you can use it on the spaghetti sauce um all kind of little stuff or to stuff mushrooms peppers I think this looks absolutely delicious. I'm being generous. I'm being generous, folks. Okay. There you go. Now, I'm not adding any vegetables to that, okay? But I am going to add a little more cheese for good measure. Yes. And our secret weapon. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now, you use this with, um, when you're making homemade spaghetti, lasagna, mm, mm, honey. Woo, wee! Yes, yes. Same thing. I'm going to throw it in the oven. Yeah, let me do my other veggie. This will be for the husband. I won't put as many jalapenos, but I think I'll put something on there. Get him a little something to think about. <laughs> I give you something to think about. <laughs> okay. I know you're like, where did that come from? Cheese. No. Yeah, for me. I got all these mushrooms left. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little cheese. Mm, maybe a lot of cheese. Mm. Yes, okay. Let me finish up these. It was like the perfect amount. It was actually one medium size red bell pepper. 
one fourth of a red onion. Maybe even one eighth. That's not how long I give it that. Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let me wring the rest of this water off of this spinach. I'm telling you, it's tons of water, and you will be very disappointed if you do not get that excess water, excess water off of here. I promise you. So, Olives. You may not like olives. You do your thing. Do your thing. You could also add artichoke says That would be a nice compliment. Throw in a couple of jalapenos for him. One for me. Woo! Look at this. Yes. I'm going to put this in the oven and then I'm going to post pictures. And there you have it. Another hashtag fast fix. Do a little side salad, but if you do the veggie ones, you are good to go. Until next time. Look, I had to get my little remote there. <laughs> Until next time, hashtag cooking with Dorsha, hashtag fast sticks.